What is up, YouTube family, and welcome back to my channel. I am warming up for my upper body sessions today, and I thought that you are going to join me today in the gym, training back and biceps today. This is one of my favorite uh, workouts. This whole workout is from the new transformation guide live in the own you app now and i will be taking you through a session where i am hitting my full back working that hour hourglass shape body so as I said, I'm currently warming up and I'm doing the upper body warm up guide that is now live also in the own new app that you can decide to do before your um, any of your sessions, lower body, upper body, we have both. And I highly recommend that you're doing, what am I doing? <laughs> that you're doing your, your uh, warm ups before you hit the session. I'm almost done and then we're gonna go. So we're gonna start with the first exercise, which is the lat pull down. Um, we have been doing a warm up, but I'm still gonna do two, two more warm up sets on a light weight just to feel the muscle connection and like getting the mindset right. Challenge to me, on my balance so deep. I got talent on me. She be wildin' for free. I got S's and O's. I got checks on my goals. You can't step on my toes. I don't walk. I just flow. I got no worries. Yeah, I bring the so when I train, I do a lot of six till eight reps. And whenever you see, we have a lot of six till eight reps in the in the own you app and a lot of the guides in the app. And when, whenever you see like six till eight reps, that's when you need to challenge yourself. That's when, that's your sign to challenge yourself. And do not be afraid of failing. Uh, whenever I do these, like when I'm gonna aim for six till eight reps, I always raise the weights as much as I can. Uh, and even if I just do five, that's, that's fine because I did all I could on that weight and then I lower my my weights and I do like a back offset which means lowering the the weights but still trying to like perform a good form and woo and aim uh, 10 till 12 reps instead First exercise is done and we're moving over to the next one, which is T-bar rows. Um, and as I said before, when I am aiming six to eight reps, I do that because I really want to challenge myself with weights. Instead of trying to hit as many as I can on a lighter weight, I lower the, the reps and higher the weights to really push myself and to really challenge the exercise. I'm not trying to be uh, dra dramatic and all, but <laughs> I want to do this exercise with small weights because the bigger plates, they hit my chest. So I'm trying to find <laughs> smaller weights, but instead it looks like I am, uh, um, yeah, it's a lot of weights, <laughs> but it's really not. It's 10, it's three tenths, but in fives. So, six fives. Most of the times you can also feel when doing just two reps that this will be too much or this will be fine or this will be too low. 
When you feel like, okay, this is really easy, load on the weights and try. Because the only thing you can really do is to fail and then you have to do it all over again. So it's nothing bad failing. Everyone fails in the gym and if you don't, you really can't like move forward. We need to fail to be able to succeed in the future, in the like further along. And I miscalculated, I still did 10 reps. I would have raised the weights a little bit more and aimed for six till eight reps because that's when I know that I challenge myself on a heavier weight. So I'm racing one more time. This set will probably be heavy as I already pushed myself with a heavy weight and did 10. Um, so yeah, always try to have that mindset. Next exercise, which is some dumbbell one arm rows. Uh, I also want to clarify that when I'm talking about this method, training six till eight reps or six till nine reps or really, really pushing yourself in the reps, I don't do that throughout a whole session. I do it in the beginning to chalk, to chalk, to shock my muscles and to, to really challenge, my, challenge myself in the beginning of the workout because as I said in the previous video, a mistake is to save yourself throughout the, the session. Push it all you got in the beginning and then just take it as it goes. The funny thing with doing one arm exercises is when you're done with one and you did a certain amount of reps, you need to hit the same reps on the other arm. You can't, you can't leave the other arm hanging with two less, uh, two less reps. You need to do exactly the same. <laughs> We're heading over to the fourth back exercise, which is a seated wide grip cable row that's the next one uh, I also want to say that another method that you can use when you're training is not only aiming six to eight reps but still keeping the reps in good form really important not swinging not pulling not like think through your muscles and always aim for a good form otherwise you can lower the weights because we still need quality before quantity. Uh, the other method that you can use, which is also a really good one, is that when you have been doing two sets of six till nine reps, after that you can lower the, the, the weights, but still push yourself with squeezing. So when I did the one arm row, instead of doing like this, you can go up, squeeze the weights and squeeze, squeeze the weights, Squeeze, squeeze the muscles and keep them under tension and lowering face, like lower slowly on the way back. That's also a really good method that you can use for the, um, the last two sets or one set, just to challenge yourself more. Uh, yeah, let's hit the next exercise. Last exercise coming up for the back, and that is rear delts. And it's the back of your shoulders, but rear delts. I like to add my rear delt exercises into my back workout days. It's up to you if you add them to your shoulder days or your back days, as long as you do them. So important to keep your posture, to help get your chest up, shoulders back, to keep, keep a strict post posture throughout the whole day. I remember when I was pregnant as well, I trained a lot of rear delts and back shoulders to uh, maintain my posture and keep a strong posture at all time. 
So we're hitting three sets times 10, 12 reps and really work on the form. Lower shoulders and push back. You don't have to do this. Don't have to overdo it back here as well. As long as you always feel your back shoulders connected to the exercise moving back. Stop here. You don't have to go back here. As long as you have the muscle connection, you will be fine. Let's go. Moving over to biceps. We have one bicep exercise in this uh, back workout, which is a, a dumbbell spider curl, four sets. Um, and yeah, really give it all you have. Try to think when you're doing spider curls, think that as if one, as if one, what is that? As if someone or something would hold your triceps behind, like behind your triceps like this. So you get this angle instead of going like this. Instead of going like this, try to keep your triceps down to your elbow strict and then lift up and squeeze your biceps. <laughs> we have one or two more exercises left, which is a superset abs. We're doing V-ups and isolated mountain climbers, three sets. Let's go. I personally think isolated mountain climbers is better because you can really connect to the abs more instead of just moving like this i like to slow down the tempo still lock your your like not not like this like think like you're breathing out the air from to this and keep this posture and then move forward i promise you if you breathe Throughout this exercise, you will feel it so much more. <laughs> I do my V-ups with some weights. It's totally up to you if you want to do them with body weights or with weights. Uh, I like to do weights because they challenge me more. So keep your back down to the mat or the floor. And when you're lowering, lower as much as you can without losing control over your lower back. So you don't have to go down here as long as you keep, oh, as long as you keep your abs intact. Okay, let's go. If you want to try out the workout, you know you have it in the description below. If you want to try out the full guide, you have it in the own you app. And also do not forget our offer on quarterly subscription in the app with 19.99 US dollars, euro and 199 kronor, svenska kronor to try out the app for three, uh, four months, four months. <laughs> and the you versus you challenge is when you see this video, it's on it's going on right now and a lot of thousands has already subscribed or enrolled to the app which is and to the challenge which is, which is amazing so i really hope to see as many of you as possible in the own app and in the challenge thank you for watching today's video i see you in my next one i love you guys Bye.